So this next video is about quotes and how they turn into orders. So originally I called, uh, told Tor uh, Corey, I was like, hey, look, Corey, let's, um, I'm spending a lot of time quoting people and I don't know if I ever get the order, right? And as you can see here, well, these are Justin's doing them, but oh, well, you have me too. But this is, if you look at the date, right? 3-1, that's just half a month, right? And I don't know how much of these orders I actually got or didn't get. So the first thing what was said to us was, hey, well, you should be converting them to orders and then you would know, right? She so would go here and then go to PO received and this quote would fall off. But like we said, what if they don't order 110? What if they, this might be a bad example. Um, we have course, I picked the, the worst one here. What if, this is a better example. So this guy is not gonna order all of this. He's gonna order, he's only gonna order one item, right? He's only gonna order one of these. So, we have to keep this quote here in case the customer at this point just wants 1,000. Right, so if you were going to go in here and put PO received and then duplicate the quote here and then delete all the items that they didn't want and just keep the item they wanted, I would still have the problem in here of seeing it. It would have a different date on it, but I would see it in here and be like, hey, why have, I'd call the customer like, why haven't you ordered? This has actually happened. And they would tell me, oh, no, I have ordered. And I go, oh yeah, here it is, I see it. There's really no way to track the orders. It's almost, with that system, if I'm looking at quotes, just hunting quotes and trying to convert them to orders, it's really, really tricky to do it the way, well, it's, I could almost say it's impossible to do it the way we're doing it, with as many quotes as we're doing. So, what I was thinking, or have was kind of an idea I had is, um, why not in customer, I stopped tracking maybe, quotes that have converted to customers, or quote, I'm sorry, quotes that converted to orders, and I start tracking new orders. So for example, right here it says quotes. Maybe here, to the left of it, or however we wanna move it, I would, it would be to the left. It would say repeat orders. And it would be the same thing. You'd click in here, and instead of the same quote, it would be the exact same form. Everything would be the exact same. You would just go in here and it would be repeat order, you click, um, do all your stuff, whatever you're going to put in here, right? And then Right here, you would, I mean, you wouldn't have quote approved or dead quote. It would just be PO received. You'd put the PO number and you would start on your, you'd start on your way. You can open order. Actually, I'm sorry, try pack. Let's do that. Try pack. Sorry guys, it's a little screwed up here. Okay, it's, it's here. So yeah, you go you go through all the way through the line, change it to uh, they confirm it, submit it. So nothing really changes in this project product. Like this this way we're doing it, it would be all the exact same way you would change it to new order here and, and get started with it. But we need something to separate repeat orders and um, and orders that are high, new orders that are going on, all right? So that doesn't really help me with the problem of knowing how many quotes have been converted over. So, but that's an internal thing. I might be able to just say, hey, look, uh, um, we, we still have to figure that out. I'm still trying to figure that out. Is how, how, when I look at this page, am I going to know how I'm going to know what's actually converted to an order or not. And that's one, one question I still have. Because this, 
this data sheet I'm looking at here, 77% conversion rate. Well, yeah, but that's off all repeat business. What's my new business, right? What is the existing business I have? You can't turn, I mean, in some businesses, you probably can make a quote for every single order, even if it's repeat, but ours is different. It's not really what I'm trying to track. What I'm trying to track is really two things. My new orders, how many new orders am I getting a, a complete new orders? Am I getting a, a month, a year, a day, or whatever? And then how many of my quotes are converting to orders? So this number is way crazy, right? I don't mean, I wish I got that much business off of everything I quoted. Yeah, right, it's more like 20, maybe 15%, maybe maybe 30. I don't even know because I'm not able to really track it, but I would, I would assume it's around 15%. So this chart, although it's, it's great, I like it, it's just not... Um, it's not that effective. So recapping this real quick because I kind of went all over the place, but we want something that says quotes, push it over. We want something to the left of it that says repeat orders. It's going to be the exact same thing, but it's going to be for repeat orders. And then when I turn, if I don't, let's just use the example that I don't have a, um, this order is a new order. It's not repeat. These guys pages. So I'd go in here and I would now convert this quote and this quote would become a new order, let's say. Uh, I'm not stuck on all the really the words really or the phrases of how I'm saying it. We could do this a different way. I'm just saying the way we're doing it right now isn't working and that's why I've been hesitant to send that uh, to send this because is because although I think this will work great it's just it's, it's gonna give me a, it's gonna make it's gonna be embarrassing for me when I send emails and people are like yeah I gave you that order I'm like no I don't see it I still see it in here oh yeah I gave you for the thousand mark not the two thousand mark so for it to be auto generated I mean all of our quotes pretty much would be almost well no not almost every single order new order the way we're doing it now would be emailed right you gotta think about it if it was this was supposed to be emailing after 30 days or 15 days. So if I got an order for, what was it? Yeah, if I got an order for this quantity, Ruben's gonna go in there and he's gonna duplicate this quote, our customer service guys, whoever's entering the order, he's gonna pull this one out, but he's gonna duplicate this quote in case the order a different quantity next time he has it and this email in 30 days is going to send to the customer and say hey what's going on with all these right so it's a system that wouldn't work it, there's there's no way it would work how I want it to work so we've got to kind of rethink it um, like I said I think my suggestion for new orders versus or repeat orders versus new orders kind of categorize them that way is good that way I can look on my dashboard and and kind of look at it that way we still have to have a way to and maybe there isn't to to see how many quotes we're actually winning, right? How many how many winning quotes we have? All right. If you guys need some more clarification, we might have to set up a conference call or some kind of um, a Skype meeting or something to to better clarify this one.